tonneau boats to buy then. So this village is called Wayne Scotting. Sound like a lovely name for a village. Wayne Scotting, 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 Wayne Scotting. What do you got here? Uh, is that? Campsite. Unoccupied, but not abandoned. There's plenty of loot around. Coins, trinkets, can botter, and a bunch of arrows. Whoever was camping here, they just left. Okay. We leave the campsite, still confused by the lack of guards, but you soon find out where they were, looking for travelers to rob. They find you raiding their camp, they decide to liberate you of your wealth. Good luck, guys. You're a little it. Like, seriously. Ow. Rude. Lightning spray seems to work better. drop bolts, I guess. Meh. How much money do I have now? Over a thousand. I'm making money rapidly. So while clearing, you find a filthy man sitting huddled near a fire. He's muttering to himself when he sees you. He jumps up and screams, No! I will not go back! jumps up and starts to run, but then he recognizes you. Wait, you aren't with the army. They're those adventurers who've been wandering around. I've heard about you before. I ended up here. Friends, I need money. For a thousand coins, I'll tell you a secret. This must be a deserter from the Empire Army. No wonder he was afraid. The penalty for desertion is a horrible death. That's what it actually says in the law books. Horrible death. Eh, no. No. Go away. I'm not giving you my money. I just got it back. Five coins and an elixir. Why don't these stack? There you go. Good job. Some gray mold. 
Illustrious locals were building a road to the rest of Valorum, hoping for the trade that it would bring. Last, the monster plagues put an end to their plans. Piles of rocks are everywhere, oh. waiting in vain to be turned into a roadway. Hmm. Patrol of guards greet you as you pass. They aren't Empire soldiers, they're part of the local militia. Poor and poorly armed. It says, if you need a place to rest, go to Aerox. It's not far to the south. There's an inn and it's cheap and comfortable. You notice that the guards are watching you with awe. You hear the guard whisper to another, That's them! The warriors from Avernum, it's really them! In a small port town, far, far out in the wilds of Valorum, it looks on the surface like it's been abandoned. Nobody is walking around and everything's eerily quiet. Maybe this town was abandoned. Strange sweet smell in the air. There's blood on the floor. Oh, there's a dude sitting in here. I bet he's really stoic. Smiling man greets you. I'm Tarok. Welcome to Aerox. Would you like a place to rest? Why is it empty? We're a port village, pretty isolated as you've seen. We depended on ships that passed by. No ships at the dock. I know, we used to have lots. They brought goods and paid for the use of our little safe haven. Then the quarantine happened. How did that cause the ships to stop coming? No ships can go from here to the rest of the Empire. No more ships means no more supplies coming. No supplies, no Aerox. Most people abandoned our vill little village. Too bad. Can you blame them? No supplies and no ships. Totally isolated, vulnerable to whatever nasties might be out there. He waves towards the woods to the north. Uh-huh. Good. Never knowing... Uh, when one will wake up to feel the teeth sinking lovingly into your throat. That's if you're lucky. Now the gazers. They'll delight in your agonies for days before mercifully devouring you. No, I can't blame people for leaving. It starts to laugh. Seems to have a hard time stopping. Any hospitality I can't seem to not ask? It is a room you can rest in if you want. The northern one. I sleep in the southern one. If you're interested, plenty of wine and food got left behind. No. This is a strange creature. It's a humanoid about your size, but has the head and claws of a tiger. Alerted? You look around and see that there are suddenly several creatures in here with you. Oh, crap. No! Crap, 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 I'm having a bad day. Tell him, dog. Uh, um, uh, I don't really think I have anything that would be super useful. <laughs> Didn't I haste him? <laughs> of course.
course, completely useless very suddenly. see summon demons right there. Uh, cannon fodder? Not really what I meant to do, but I guess I did it. Wow, so many force cages. Go Drakes! Just regular demons. <laughs> you can take them, Jeremy. become invulnerable for like 20 turns. I like when they move in and then move away. It's a lot of extra damage. Like that. Go away. Please kill me or something. Apparently this place is too dangerous for me. Can't 
that a basilisk mutant lizard also very dangerous. wish there was a way to tell how long these enchantments would last Too many cats. Too many cats. Way, 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 way too many cats. <laughs> there it goes. I'm gonna die. Unless this thing's time out soon. There, now they have to come into the room to fight me. Oh. I'm out of juice, and it is just yeah, there are a lot of bad things in this town. Can't go in there unless I'm gonna see. No, 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 no. Uh uh. Definitely, definitely a problem. Let's fall for the obvious trap. And here comes the summoning crap. Go, alien beast. Defeat my enemies. I can't enhance him, though. I have a whole pack of them. That unshackle mind would get rid of Force Cage, or was it uh, Cure Disease or something? Some weird spell gets rid of it. Go Drac, Dragon, go Dragon, go.